Hi there. Today I am going to talk about Monte Carlo analysis. Let's get started. So um, what we're going to learn today in this 10 to 15 minutes video is what is Monte Carlo analysis? How do we do it? Uh, is it really important? When do I do this vis-a-vis uh, -vis risk management? And uh, we're going to see how we can implement this. So, first of all, what is Monte Carlo analysis? Um, how do we go about doing that? So, generally, um, you know, what happens is in Monte Carlo, we uh, generally what happens in projects is we overestimate cost or we overestimate schedules. We, we commit that, you know, this particular project going to get over in 10 months or 11 days. Think about big project, big buildings, dams, uh, big roadways project. Um, and there are chances that we overcommit to, we, we think about best possible scenario and we commit to government or we commit to media or uh, people that it's going to get over in some days and it gets delayed. So um, it uses a technique. Remember we um, did something called estimations and in estimations we have three point estimation. So we had something called um, best case scenario, then we had uh, worst case scenario and then we had most likely. And we used to calculate our estimations based on you know what is the kind of industry we are what are the chances of these to happen so for example if it is something very simple as dice rolling a dice then the chances of best case worst case and most likely is equal so our ex our uh, calculation for cost or for uh, schedule um, if we have done best worst and most likely then it used to be triangular estimation or average estimation which is like you know what is the duration or what is the cost for this particular task or WPS item? Then we used to write, you know, um, best case plus worst case plus most likely divided by three. But if we say no, 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 most likely going to happen more, or it is like a beta curve, then our duration becomes best case, um, worst case plus three, sorry, four times most likely divided by six. Remember? So Monte Carlo analysis goes further than that. It says, you know, what do you do? You do worst case, best case scenario and most likely scenario. Write down the data um, because the software is going to work with the data which we're going to provide. And it will, Monte Carlo uh, software or the algorithm going to work in different ways it's going to use its own algorithm and it would do permutation combination of worst case best case thousands of time and going to give you some outcome so let's see what is it um so what it does is this is one of the outcomes so in monte carlo analysis a computer model is iterated many times with the input which values which we have put in and the iterations are a lot of probability distribution and probability branches thousands of times it's iterated and you get something like this now what is it um, the iteration or computer has done a lot of iteration and given you this data. What this data says, and this is on cost, what it said was that the, um, the targeted budget was 2.2 million USD for this particular project, which was in, you know, discussion. It said that there is only 23% chance of meeting the target. However, there is 85% chance of meeting the costing of 2.4 million or less if we go with your data. It also says if you look at the graph that you know this is um, you should probably be finished by this this much of amount. So what um, Monte Carlo iterations have done for you is it has given you a confidence level. It says I am 23% confident that you would be meet, you would meet the budget target, or I'm only 10% um, confidence 
um, that you want it's similar to something like the weather which you see you know it's 50% uh, likely that there's going to be rain today um, so based on a lot of data a lot of permutation combination and obviously accuracy of the algorithm uh, what is the benefit? Um, you get insight into, you know, what are the confidence levels. Um, you can check and uh, manage with the risk. And um, you don't overcommit. We give realistic budgeting and scheduling. You can do the similar thing for schedule as well. And it provides confidence to the project outcome. Um, what are the tools available for which you can do Monte Carlo? You can use on top of RISC, on top of Excel, you can use at risk. This is a small add-on for Excel. You can use Primavera, you can use Oracle Crystal Ball, Microsoft Project Server also provide this kind of functionality. So once you have the data, you can click on a button and say, oh, go simulate. And it's going to give you the data or the graph. Uh, however, there are challenges of Monte Carlo analysis. One, you need to put in a lot of data. Um, it is very time consuming. Um, obviously, it comes with, uh, you know, cost. You need to buy certain tools. And uh, results are basically all your assumptions, all, it's all your data which you have put it in place. Um, you can use Monte Carlo anal analysis. It's, it's going to enhance your planning and execution um, it empowers project manager to make informed decision and um, you would feel more confident while you present your information to people so that's all about monte carlo analysis if you have any questions you can write to me at kavita.sh at kavitasharma.net or you can ping me you know on my website kavitasharma.net thank you for listening in have a very nice day bye bye